Hi guys, uh, in this video we are going to see the applicant registration module in FIDINA. So using the applicant registration module, the students can apply for courses that the admin has already created in FIDINA. So I'll just show you one such course and how the admin has created it. So by going to settings and manage course patch, uh, manage course, inside it I've already created grade 4 which I want to open for the students to be able to apply. So I'm going to grade 4 and uh, before uh, making this sub course open to the students, I will be assigning subject amount in this course. So what I've done is for each of the courses, I have created some subjects, normal as well as electives, and they will be appearing in assigned subject amount. It means that for each subject, whether it is a normal subject or it is uh, an elective subject, I'll be able to assign amounts. So um, let's see what I've done. I've done it for maths. For mathematics, I've given 100 as amount. So if any student he is opting for mathematics, which is a normal subject, or if he is opting for Spanish, which is an elective subject, he will have to pay 250 if he's opting for both the subjects. So the sum of the amount will be what he, what will be the applicant registration fee applicable for the uh, students who will be applying for grade four, grade four uh, course. So I have already uh, given some amounts to the subjects that are available in grade four. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go to academics and I'll make this course open for uh, applicants to be able to register for it. I've already made grade one, grade two and grade four. As you can see, I've already made them open. So what I'll do is I'll go to manage courses and I'll add a course. Let, let me select grade three as the course. This minimum score is um, for uh, the students to be able to go into to be able to apply for this applicant registration for grade three, what is the minimum score that they should have in their previous uh, grade? So we can set it like 70. This is for the reference of the admin. He can see it later on while on, uh, you know, based on the filtering. Uh, then subject based registration, whether it is active or inactive. If we make it active, it will be asking for whether, you know, there's a fixed amount for the subjects that the students are going to take. So they can, in this case, they can take any number of subjects and there will be fixed amount that they will be paying. So what I'll do is let me give fixed amount as 500. And besides this fixed amount, what all elective that they select, that sum will be getting added up. So let me give minimum elective as one and maximum elective as two. So it is a subject, is it a subject based collection? If it is not a subject based collection, it is going to show us electives and the fixed amount. If it is a subject based collection, it is only going to show us uh, the electives. So only electives amount will be summed up. So let us make it inactive and let's see that this will be the fixed amount in this case and electives based on what the student is selecting, the amount will be summed up in this amount. And uh, is this active? Is this uh, course active for applicants to be able to register? Yes. Is the PIN system enabled? PIN system would mean that is, uh, whenever a student is going to apply, he'll be asked for a security password or a PIN so that he'll be able to view the admission form and fill it. So in short, we are making it more secure so that only uh, you know the students who has the PIN will be able to apply. Then enable approval system means whether that application that the student is submitting will be going to admin, is admin for approval or not. So let us make it active and include additional details would mean in case you know you while admitting a student you've set some additional details. Do you want to ask that in the form that will be appearing for the student and transfer attachments while allot allotting. So we can select this. So in this case, in the profile of the user, there will be one link registration docs uh, where all the uh, uh, depart all the documents that he's uploaded will be coming. So I'm creating uh, grade three. I'm opening it for registration for the applicants. So there is no elective subject in this case. So uh, what I'll do is I'll make subject based registration as inactive right now. If there is an elective, it will be appearing here. Uh, or what we can do is let's create an elect elective for this course. So we are going to go to manage subject. We are going to this patch, which is G3A 2014. You can see there are four subjects and there is no elective. Let me create an elective group. So languages is an elective group and I'm going to add a subjects to it. So let me create Spanish 
and one more so now by going to manage course I can assign uh, amounts to them so let me assign for the Spanish uh, 60 and uh, let me assign for uh, French it will be let's say 70 so I'm saving it here now we can go to applicant registration and uh, what I'll do is I'll create a course again for grade 3 and I'll be giving a minimum score like I've already said and we'll make this active so subject based collection I'm saying it is inactive so I'll be adding some fixed amount here minimum elective would be 1 let's say maximum would be 3 and uh, all this we've set we can uh, say approval to be yes and we can include some additional details and we can even select this transfer attachments while allocating so now this uh, is created this grade is created now for this grade since we have given approval uh, pins we can go to uh, go back to settings and we can create pins for this grade so I'm going to create new pin so this this is when is that pin valid till so by default it will be one month so let me give a name like five pins for grade three so it means five uh, slots are available in uh, for the students to be five students can apply for grade three so pin count let's say it is five and is it active we'll say yes it is active and we can select the grade for which it is applicable so I'm going to select grade three and I'm saving this so we can see the five pins are there now uh, how this works is that this pin will, you will be giving to a student who will be able to register so uh, what we'll do is I am uh, the link that you will be publishing to the students will be uh, this school URL slash register so this is the link that is by default created whenever you uh, create uh, whenever you put a course for applicant registration and in this link it will be uh, all the open courses will be coming here so the student will go to this link you will be publishing this link to all the st uh, prospective students and he can select the grade to which he wants to admit get admitted and pin number he needs to take from the admin so he can submit it here and he'll get the admission form in case the pin number is correct so let me just uh, admit a student we can select all the details and you can see the total payable amount is 400 because this is a fixed amount that is there and uh, as and when we select uh, the electives you can see the amount is getting added so based on the elective that he's uh, selecting his amount will be 530 now so uh, this is how you know we can do it and um, here we can give the mm, p uh, parent details as well and after we can even attach and additional details are also coming here so we can save it and you know this registration he'll have to pay this fee total payable amount is 400 so he can even print the application and he can uh, pay it uh, to the admin uh, he can take this application to the admin and he can pay it so let's go back to this uh, applicant registration and let's see who all are the applicants in grade 3 so we will be able to see that this student is as an admin I can see that he has applied on this state and the status is pending now you can see eligible because if this student would have put uh, the previous educational details so I'll be able to see that whether this student is applicable based on the minimum score that I have set uh, for this course uh, so I am going to this uh, view applicants and uh, as a uh, um, uh, this uh, admin I can click on the profile and I can admit the student to a batch of uh, grade 3 because grade 3 has two batches so I need to select uh, where the students should be going so uh, this, this these warnings will be coming for the admin so admin has to manually check it whether he is academically cleared if he, if he is he can tick this and then another will be coming where the applicant has not pay the fees or not this is that fees which is the applicant fees which was 530 for this student so this he must have paid that fees so he can mark it and the last thing that will be coming is admit applicant to the batch so there will be two batches 
uh, sorry there is only one batch in grade 3 so it is appearing and I can save it so you will see this Helen will be coming with all the other students so we can go to data and reports now and we can see that in this batch G3A 2014 Helen is also admitted uh, this uh, user is admitted actually through applicant registration and uh, let's see what other things are there so we can go to applicant registration we can view the applicants here we can see the additional fields here and uh, we I'll, I'll show you for other course that I've already created for example here all the applicants are there who has allocated so this is the applicant registration fee that it shows as paid we can go back to the courses so in this way we can create courses and we can manage pins so you know we can uh, set a defined number of seats for the students and we can uh, distribute pins to them and only those students will be able to apply for the courses so this is about applicant registration module be tuned in for more videos thank you